Hi, my name is Maria Jesus and I'm a graduate student at California Botanic Garden. Today I'm joining you from the sensory trail up on the mesa where I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite plants, the California poppy. Like other species in the genus Escholzia, these flowers have four petals and two sepals which actually fall off when the flower first opens. That makes it easy to see the rim of the receptacle, which is much larger than other species in this genus, like the pygmy poppy, which lives in desert regions. The flowers of the California poppy close up at night or when it's cold and wet, which helps protect the delicate petals. Sometimes hungry bees try to sneak their way into closed flowers to gather pollen, but they might run into other poppy pollinators like beetles, which like to take naps in the closed up flowers. Eventually, the petals fall to the ground and what remains is the fruit. This fruit type is called a dehiscent capsule, which splits open when ripe and propels seeds up to six feet away from the parent plant. Maybe this is one of the reasons why California poppies are so widespread throughout our state. Poppies were exponentially more widespread before settlers arrived and transformed the landscape. For instance, these flowers formed waves upon waves of orange hillsides all along California's 400 mile long Central Valley. Remnants of this golden grandeur can be found in places like the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve and Walker Canyon. In dry years, like the one we're experiencing right now, it can be harder to find vast expanses of poppies, especially in Southern California. Gardens are a great place to experience the beauty of poppies, and it's really easy to grow your own. Best to plant seeds in the fall so they have a chance to take advantage of winter moisture. Make sure not to plant seeds where they can escape into the wild. So if you're interested in growing your own, come on down to the Grow Native Nursery here at the garden, uh, where we have many seed varieties for you to choose from. Um, also consider just taking a look outside in your neighborhood. Take a walk and see if you see any stray poppies growing in people's yards or even on the side of the road. Um, and of course, we have plenty of poppies to gaze at here at California Botanic Garden.